Uh, Thomas asks, how do you see the future of Brazil if Lula is elected? And how do you see the future of the country if Bolsonaro is elected? I mean, look, Lula, Lula is, a, is, a, is a socialist. And so I think that his election would be unbelievably destructive uh, to Brazil. Uh, I think it undermine um, undermine uh, prosperity in Brazil. It will reverse whatever positive economic positives uh, legislation and positive things were done during the Bolsonaro first administ Bolsonaro's administration. Not much was done, but what was the, the, the little bit that was good will be reversed. Uh, but Lula is also a populist. He's not going to be, I don't think he's going to be, um, uh, you know, completely destructive to the Brazilian economy. He wasn't the first term. Um, because, I mean, he, he, he knows that in order to maintain his support, he's going to have to He's going to have to, uh, you know, m allow business enough freedom to be able to milk them for, for, the, for, the, for the benefits that he gains from them so he can redistribute their wealth. Um, so I think he's enough of a realist to do that. I don't think he puts Brazil on the path of Venezuela, but he very well might. I mean, uh, you're playing with fire. You really are. Now, I think there's a real difference between... Um, Latin America broadly, including Brazil and the United States. I, you know, the, the, the Brazil, the likelihood, uh, the likelihood is that la there's a much higher likelihood that Brazil gets taken over by rabid socialists, just like Venezuela, um, and the rest of Latin America gets taken over by rabid socialists, uh, than uh, than there is that they get taken over by. Um, you know, I, I, I right-wing authoritarianism. I think the dynamics, uh, Latin America is primed for socialism, has been primed for socialism forever, primarily because of its, um, uh, you know, its continental philosophy, its Kantian, uh, Kantian um, leftist uh, German philosophy. It, it, it never had... You know, Latin America never had uh, the, the benefit of, if you will, Anglo-Saxon philosophy, the liberal philosophy. Um, there was more free markets. They, they never got the enlightenment from England and from the Scotland. Uh, they got they they went straight to the French and the British, uh, French and the Germans, and as a consequence, they're prime, much more prime towards um, uh, socialism in the left. So, I think both, I, I think I think Lula would be a disaster. And and I think Bolsonaro will now be good, right? So the the, the sad thing is that uh, it's it's a terrible choice that Brazil is facing. Bolsonaro strikes me as 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 pretty much of a, a kind of a bubbling idiot, um, you know, with all the wrong instincts. He's a statist. Uh, he's a, he, again, he's a populist. He's a religionist. Um, but he has put if you will, the right place, the right people in, um, in economic, in the economic positions in the government. Oh, the other thing about Bolsonaro is he's super corrupt. So is Lula, right? Lula went to jail for corruption and it still might win the election. So they're both super corrupt. Um, but Bolsonaro has some good people kind of running the economy. And so Brazil will probably do much better economically under Lula uh, uh, sorry, under Bolsonaro, and um, but I don't see the prospects of the country very positive either way, because neither Lula nor Bolsonaro, uh, uh, you know, are good in 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 a significant way, and neither of them will in Bolsonaro will not let the better elements in this government actually do the things that Brazil needs to get done in order for Brazil to become wealthy and successful and prosperous. It has all the potential for that, but it cannot do it because it's got a corrupt statist political system and economy. All right, uh, we'll get to the other $20 questions, uh, which are not on topic. We'll get to them. Um, we'll get to them later. Um, Okay, let me just do one other one, James G, because it's on Brazil, and this will be the last one before we get to talk about Putin and then Iran. How do you view Brazil in terms of its future? Do you like Sao Paulo? Do you feel it has potential to keep evolving to a better city? 
so again, you know, Brazil's future is, I think, unfortunately bleak right now because uh, both Bolsonaro and Lula are corrupt. Both of them are statist. Uh, both of them are going to be bad for Brazil. Um, I think Brazil has uh, immense potential, always has had. The people are amazing. Uh, it has incredible natural resources. Um, it has some very successful businessmen. It has a, a very entrepreneurial uh, young people. Like every country, really, if, if you liberated economically, it would, be, it would do amazing. It has a large population, has a relatively young population, so uh, it doesn't suffer from the demographic problems that much of the world suffers from. It's still relatively young. Um, and it, 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 it could do amazing things if the status got out of the way. And, and again, uh, Paulo Goetz, who is the economy minister in Brazil, is a good guy. He has the right ideas. He's influenced by Ayn Rand. He's influenced by the Austrian economist, by Milton Friedman. He, he, if he was given a free hand, he could do amazing things, but hasn't so far. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I, I'm skeptical about uh, Brazil's prospects. Um, in terms of Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo is not my favorite city. It's, it's a big city. It, it's, it's not a particularly pretty city. Um, you know, where my hotel is right now, a lot of tall buildings, a lot of very modern buildings, uh, which are pretty cool. And, and uh, it's, it's a very nice part of town. Uh, we were at a restaurant earlier today, also at a kind of a, a more expensive, nice part of town. But Sao Paulo's also full of favela, favela to the, are the slums, full of slums, full of uh, poverty. Uh, again, crime is, is relatively high. Uh, and, um, it, it, you know, Sao Paulo is, is just massive. It's just massive in the traffic. Oh, my God. It, it, it took an, uh, an hour and 40 minutes to get from the hotel to my, um, my hotel. That shouldn't be more than 30 to 40 minutes without traffic, but traffic is horrific. They don't have the infrastructure to deal with the traffic. We don't have the highway system. Uh, there, there are just too many cars for the infrastructure that exists. Um, it, it's it's just not a city. It's a city that needs a lot of infrastructure to improve. Um, it, so I don't know how the city becomes better without massive investments in infrastructure. Now, looking on my window at the hotel, you can see some infrastructure going up, but uh, but is it enough? Um, it, it, it's it's questionable. Uh, could have uh, so when I, on the chat it says twelve million people live in Sao Paulo. I thought it was more than that, but yes, twelve million. I mean, my favorite city in in uh, in Brazil is by far Rio de Janeiro, which is a which is probably the most beautiful city in the world. Uh, but it's also got problems, you know, uh, crime, um, favelas, poverty. All of that uh, is is really is really uh, difficult. Um, but uh, you know, São Paulo uh, has great restaurants. It's uh, it's got a vibrant business community. Uh, there's a lot of wealth. There's a lot of wealthy people who live and, and work in Sao Paulo, so um, it's just a it's just a tough place to be because you know because of the of the crime and because of the the lack of infrastructure, so the the, the traffic and and all of that. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show. We make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.